Thank you for your purchase of the Millermatic 211 Pro. We know you're eager to try out your new machine, but before you begin setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Millermatic 211 Pro. Warning, always read and follow all labels and your owner's manual. And remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. Let's get started. These are the required tools for setup. First, make sure your machine is powered off. Open the side door. Remove the work lead from the spool hub inside of the machine. Thread the work lead through the work clamp and tighten with a wrench. Connect the work lead to the negative DINS connector. Route the lead from the drive motor to the positive DINS connector in the front of the machine. Then, feed the 4-pin connection through the opening and hand tighten. Install the end of the MIG gun or power pin into drive casting in the front of the machine, making sure it is completely seated in the drive assembly. Tighten the gun connection to the receptacle with a threaded side knob. Tuck the 4-pin wire behind the front bezel. Reminder that the machine is set up for DCEP from the factory. If you need electrode negative for flux cord welding, switch DINS connections. If you need to change the liner, go to the video linked below. Connect the non-machine end of the hose to the regulator. Insert the barbed ending and use whelpers to tighten. Connect the free end of the gas hose to the gas solenoid located on the back panel of the Millermatic. Hand tighten and finish with a half turn. It isn't necessary to apply any thread sealant or Teflon tape to the gas hose threads. Uncap your gas bottle and open the valve to the side letting out any debris. Now, hook up the regulator to the gas tank and use a wrench to tighten. Ensure the shielding gas being used matches the process and selection on the machine. Release the tension knob. The drive rolls included with the Millermatic 211 Pro come in three different sizes. 030, 035, V-Groove, for solid wire, 024 V groove for solid wire, 035 V knurled groove for flux cord wire. We are going to be setting it back to the factory set 030 035 V groove. The Millermatic 211 Pro is compatible with 4 and 8 inch spools. To insert an 8 inch spool, remove the spool hub nut and mount the wire. To use a 4-inch, you will need to remove the spool hub. Remove the locking nut, spring and washer and insert the 4-inch spool. Now insert washer, spring and tighten the nut. Detach the folded wire and snip off the end with a whelper. Feed wire through a couple of inches then tighten pressure assembly to at least two which is a starting point and let go of the wire. Turn machine on and hold trigger until wire feeds out. Keep your MIG gun straight. Remove nozzle and contact tip. Pull the trigger. After three seconds of holding the machine will enter jog mode. Hold trigger until wire feeds out. Insert nozzle and contact tip. Tighten with a half turn. Remember, if the tensioner is too tight, the wire won't feed. Too loose, the wire will slip. Snip the excess wire. To use auto set, Press the Auto Set button 
and the button will illuminate. Select the process with your gas. Then select the wire diameter and material thickness. AutoSet was developed to act as a starting point with preset parameters for a variety of welding materials and thicknesses. To use manual mode, press the AutoSet button to turn off AutoSet. Manual parameters will default from AutoSet. Rotate the left knob to adjust voltage. Rotate the right knob to adjust wire feed speed. To access the menu settings, press Menu. Rotate either knob to change menu options. Rotate the right knob to adjust settings. To exit menu, press the menu button again. Press the second button on the user interface to access the system settings. Here, you can enable or disable the gas connection alert. If your gas is not connected, an error message will pop up on screen when you pull the trigger on your MIG gun. Insert an empty USB drive into your computer and download the file onto your USB. Plug USB into machine. Select the menu and click the fourth button on the user interface named Software Versions. Once the USB is detected by the machine, select the Upgrade button and wait for your machine to finish upgrading. Refer to the consumable guide on the parameter chart for proper consumables and replacements. Check the owner's manual or refer to our maintenance video linked below in the description. The Millermatic 211 Pro is capable of MIG welding aluminum using a Spoolmate 100 or Spoolmate 150. To calibrate your spool gun, you must have a spool gun connected with wire. Select the system settings to enable spool calibration dialog. Power the machine off and back on. You will see a message on screen that the spool gun is detected. Press the motor tight button to select the correct spool gun. Press the third button to enter low calibration. Push trigger and spool gun should feed 24 inches. Measure wire. If under 24 inches, adjust right knob the inches needed to get to 24 inches. If longer than 24 inches, adjust the right knob to dial down the difference. In our case, we need to add 4.5 inches of wire. Pull the spool gun trigger again and measure gain with adjustment made. Press the fourth button to go into high calibration. Push trigger and spool gun should feed 24 inches. Measure wire. If under 24 inches, adjust right knob the inches needed to get to 24 inches. If longer than 24 inches, adjust the right knob to dial down the difference. In our case, we need to add 3.5 inches of wire. Pull the spool gun trigger again and measure gain with adjustment made. Now, you are ready to make professional quality welds.